In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your introductory video using WeVideo. If you go to WeVideo.com and log in with your Google account, you can have a free version of WeVideo. You get a certain amount of time in the free version and most of the features. Uh, to create a video, what you're going to do is click on Create New. Once you get to create new, a couple of things to t uh, check out. Yours might look different than mine. Right now, I am in the timeline mode down here so I can see all of the, the different parts. I can change this by going to the three lines on the main menu on the left-hand side, and I'll go into storyboard mode just so you can see the difference between the two of them. Uh, the first thing I should do is title my video. I'm going to click on Untitled Video, and I'm going to rename my video. And now that I have my video named, a couple of the things that I can do, I've got my media that's already right here. I can upload media from my computer and I can also record right here. I can click right up here and I can get some backgrounds that are animated. Or I can get some backgrounds that are solid as well if I'd like to add a solid background. I can also get text to add a title or an end video clip. I'm gonna start back in my media and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to record a clip to put in. In the free version, you can only record from your webcam. I want to make sure my uh, recording my audio is on. I'm going to choose my built-in microphone. Hi, everyone. I'm Tracy, and this is an intro video with Wee Video. Once I'm done, I can record a new one, I can download it, or I can save it. If I save it, it's going to process and upload into my media. While that's um, uploading, I'm going to show you how you can upload other media. I'm going to click on Upload Media, Upload More Files. You can choose from other social sites, or you can choose something from your computer. I'll grab something from my desktop, some mountains to put in, and that a uh, picture will process while that's doing that. I can click out of this and they'll show up here when they're ready to go. A couple of other things to think about while you're building your film. Right here on the left hand side, if I click on the theme, I can choose a bunch of different themes. It makes it really easy to create a great movie and Wii video because they have transitions and music that goes along with each of the themes. So I'm going to choose Sweet Choir and it will add it to my project. I can click edit right here to type the title. And click done editing. The next thing that I can do is I can grab my pictures. All right, so if I want to add this picture of the mountains, I'm just going to click add and it will drop it into my timeline. If I want to add my video, I can just click add and it will drop it into my video. If I want to preview my movie, I can drag this green box back to the beginning and I can press play. Hi, my name is Tracy Purdy and this is my introductory video. If I realize that my uh, picture right here is too long, all I have to do is click on it and I can uh, either move it or I can get that little arrow and I can make it so that it's shorter and you can see the time on the bottom. So if I only want it for about two seconds, then I can drag it down at the bottom. I can always delete something. I can always add effects if I want to. If you want to see what this looks like back in timeline mode, you can just click on the settings in timeline mode and now you can see all of the different components. If I felt like my theme music was a little bit too loud, I can turn that down a little bit and I can turn up the volume on the other ones. I can move my clips around and I can shorten them here. I could also cut a clip if I wanted to. If this clip was too long, I can click on the scissors to cut it. Now I have two different pieces and I can trash one of those pieces. So if I was done putting all the media into my project and I was ready to finish, what I would do is go to the um, top right up here and click on finish. And it's automatically gonna go to WeVideo. 
you have some other choices of where your video can go. I'm going to click on YouTube right here. I've already connected my YouTube account. If you have not connected your YouTube account, it will ask you to connect them through Google. My video is public. I want to make sure it is public because I want everybody to be able to see this video. I have my title right here. I'm going to click finish my video. And my video will start uploading to YouTube and to WeVideo. I will get a message when it is done. And I also will get a notification that it's on YouTube. If I go to YouTube and I go to my channel, And I can see my video will pop up right here into my uploads that are public. And then I can take that video and add it to our map. So that's how you'll create your YouTube or your introductory video using WeVideo.